welcome soon. In this video, we will try to complete creation of web application which demonstrate master page with applying styles, themes for a page beautification. Now already, what is the master page? What is the theme? What is the schemes? How to work with the nested master pages? How to access the values of master page control inside the content pages? These all tasks are been already done by us. So you can watch the earlier videos so you can understand how to add the master pages. Now let's concentrate how I had developed this particular master page. Already I had developed because if I start typing it will be consuming a lot of time. What I had done in this particular practical 5B, I had created one style sheet under the CSS folder. I can either create the style sheet under the CSS folder or I can go for adding the style sheet under the themes. Okay, and then specifying the themes either at a page level or specifying the theme at the site level. And when you are using at a site level, you have to configure the web.config. So you will understand that I had added this style sheet in which I had used the ID options. So header ID has been created. Nav ID, navigation ID has been created. Some background colors are set by me. UL that is an ordered list. LI that is called a list item. And various style sheet properties are being set. A for anchor tag, li for list item. Hover means what if you're moving the mouse pointer on it, then how the changes are been done. Side, the floating option. Mujhe side method on news chahiye. Ta isle mene ek side naam ko option create kiya. Article, that means I would like to show some kind of basic article. That's the reason I had gone for specifying the ideas what here. Articles over here. Footer has been also created. Icon, the connection has also been created. So this is what a small style sheet is being set by us. You can create the style sheet, but for that you need to learn the style sheet. If anybody would like to build a career in the web designing, please remember that you need to have an updated knowledge of the style sheets. So now it comes, I am coming towards my site1.master. What has been done by me? In the heading part, I had used the link tag related to style sheet. The type is textable CSS and the link is given towards our style sheet file named as style sheet1.css. Further, you can find I had gone for header ID. This ID has been header which has been linked with our header in what our style sheet. So, here is the header. So, here is the color mention. So, here is the color learning, learn programming. Mein aa then navigation id has been given nav it means yahan pe jo nav mein specify karunga wahi cheez yahan ke nav mein aa jayega right so this way i had just gone for adding various link as well as adding the contain and you can find in the contain placeholder id i will be having my contain placeholder and footer it has been given as copyright my name is abhay morya so i had just gone for a design you can see this is how the design looks like Sir, kuch likhne raha hai, do minute ruko raha hai, render honne ko time lagta hai. So, when you are trying to view the uh, GUI, you will find the GUI has been displayed in this particular form. Ya, fir, thoda do minute ruk jayenge, display to aani wala hai, isa kuch issue nahi hai. Ham log contain dala hua hi hai. Nahi, to aap ek baar run karke bhi usko dekh sakte hai. So, you can go to execution and you can view how the execution looks like. But please remember, that if you are trying to go for calling the master page, then master page should not be executed directly. You should be always adding it through the contained pages. So what is needed? We need to add up a contained page. So ye design aaya hua hai. Thoda sa scroll up karenge to aapko samaj mein aa jayega. So yahan pe dekho scroll up mein aap dekho ke. To mera upar aa gaya learn programming. Yahan pe aapka aega navigation bar. That is home, about, article, contact. Here copyright specification. Floating में मैंने यहाँ पे news दिया हुआ है तो news यहाँ पे आया हुआ है and this is what my contained placeholder which is been specified here. Now what I'm expecting I'm expecting to add a contained page. How I can do it? I can right click on practical one B, selected add and selected the option as web form and under the web form here I'm selecting the option. Uh, sorry, should not be adding as a regular web form. You should be adding it as a child of a master page. So do not say add web form, select the option as web forms master pages, 
web form with the master page. Give a click on that. And now you can select this is the site one dot master. Fine. And inside this content placeholder, I may be writing the content as learn programming of okay develop project by your own. Fine. So I just saved it. And now, now trying to go for viewing the design. You can see the design. This is what my master page is beautifully arranged. And this is what my content page is. So when I try to run this particular page, you can see how this content looks like. So master page content, content page contains have been merged. And those contains are being displayed in front of you. Right. So this is a simple way by which the entire system is being developed by us. So right side में मैंने थोड़ा सा floating bar रखा है news का bottom में मैंने copyright रखा हुआ है ऊपर मैंने navigation bar रखा हुआ है ऊपर मैंने header bar रखा हुआ है जैसे ही आप hover करते हो content change होता है ये style sheets का game है सिर्फ बाकी कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं है so please uh, develop this kind of uh, design for your practical number five B thanks a lot student so please be with us and I will be very happy if you develop your project by your own instead of taking it from somebody. If you understand what is being developed by you inside your own project, that will be always adding a good feathers in your hand.